Good morning, and welcome to video number 10 of me growing out my beard. Today we are going to be judging the judging systems for competitive music. There are a whole lot of different competitive band circuits out there, and each of them scores the show slightly differently. So you have all of the judges, they write down a score, and then all those scores are tabulated up, and then you get your final score and final ranking at the end. Now, depending on which circuit is running the contest, the final scores and final placements might be different from circuit to circuit because different circuits value different aspects of the show. In this video, we will be looking at the four national and international circuits and ranking their scoring systems on a tier list based on how much I like them. But before we get into it, make sure that you click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. I am currently the third most subscribed EMC channel, and when I become number one, I will make a very special video. Okay. Let's rank the rankings. We will be starting with DCI, Drum Corps International. I have the recap from 2019 finals pulled up here. So in general, competitive marching band and drum corps, they're judged based on three categories. One is the general effect. It's how your show affects the audience overall. There is also the music and the visual. So DCI has four general effect judges, and I believe uh, general effect one is a music focus and general effect two is a visual focus. So each judge will judge two separate categories Categories. We got the rep, which is repertoire, I think, probably, and the perf, which is performance. So they will give a score out of a maximum of 10 points for each of those, and then it will get totaled up to a maximum of 20 points. Then they will average the total score from the general effect one judges, and also average the total score from the general effect two judges, creating a total score of 40 points in general effect. Then we have the visual category, which has three separate judges. One is judging visual proficiency, visual analysis, and color guard. So the proficiency judge, they judge the cont... Const content, yes, <laughs> that's what that is. And the achievements. And once again, both of those are a total of 10 points, creating a total of 20 points. The visual analysis judge will judge the composition, yes, and achievements. Again, totaling 20 points, and the color guard judge judges the sub substance, sub, yeah. Substance. English is hard, especially when it's not written out all the way. Substance, I think, and achievement, 10 points for 20 points total. So then they take the average of the proficiency and analysis scores, and also they take the total color guard score divided by two, and they add those two things together for a maximum total of 30 points. I hope this is making sense so far, okay? This is incredibly confusing, and this is definitely the most math I've ever done in a video, was figuring out how this scoring system actually works. We have four music judges. One judges the brass, two of them judge the music analysis, and one judges the percussion. And we are judging the con content, <laughs> that's what that one is, content and achievement uh, for all four of these. Yeah, for all of these subcaptions, this is literally just the same words, but like different, like substance achievement, content achievement. Uh, what was the other one? There's repertoire and performance. It's all the same word. Why are you being so confusing, DCI? Yes, yeah, basically the first box is what you have written. The second one is how well you play what's written. And the how well you play it will definitely affect the what's written because if you play it crappily, then you can't tell what's written. So that's how it works. So once again, all of these subcaptions are out of a maximum of 10. The total is a maximum of 20. The total brass score is then divided by two. The music analysis, both judges, their score is averaged and then divided by two. And the percussion score is divided by two. Add all three of those together and you get a maximum of 30 points. And then you subtract any penalties. I don't think anybody got a penalty. That's very good. Good job, DCI cores. And then you get your final score. It looks like, uh, I think the Blue Devils won. Yep, Blue Devils, Blue Coats. Yep, good job to all our top 12 finalists. So in summary, the music effect is 20 points. Visual effect is 20 points. Music is 30. Visual is 30. There are 11 total judges and the split of visual to music is 50-50. So a few critiques I have about this system. Uh, I like how there are two judges for some of the categories like there's two judges judging general effect one and two uh, there's two music analysis judges uh, however all these other ones only have one judge judging that category which I definitely would prefer having two judges judging the same category because then you know if one person tanks you for some reason then at least you have the other score to you know average it out a little bit 
But there are 11 total judges, which I think is a very good amount of judges to have. Now, I really don't like that it's a 50-50 split between the music and the visual score. I feel like the music is kind of more important, at least a little bit, so I think... The groups that play better should probably win rather than the groups that look better, in my professional opinion. DCI, your scoring system will get A tier. Next we got DCA, Drum Corps Associates, also known as All Age Drum Corps, also known as Weekend Warriors. Let's get it. Okay, so they put a visual at the beginning of the recap and effect at the end. I mean, it's, it's all like the same. It's visual, music, and effect. There are two different categories for visual. You got visual ensemble and color guard. There are two judges for each of these categories. Both judging the des... Design. That's what that is. Design. And X... Excellence. Execution. Ex excellence execution. I, I don't know which word that is. So for this, each subcaption is judged out of a score of 100 and then totaled up, so the total is a maximum of 200 points. Then both the judges' scores get averaged for the final total out of 200, and that is for both of these captions. And then the total number for Visual Ensemble and Color Guard is added, so 400 maximum, and then you divide by 20, I, I think, to get the total of 20. Is that math right? 400 divided by 20 equals 20. Yes, I am so smart. Then we got music, which has three categories, brass, percussion, and music ensemble, which each have two judges. And the scores work the exact same way as visual, which the sub captions is 100 points, the total being averaged to a maximum of 200 points. But since there's three different captions, they all get added for a maximum of 600 points. And then you divide by 30 to get your total score of a maximum of 30. Right? Is that is that how it's done? 600 divided by 30 equals... Nope, I'm wrong. 600 divided by 20? Is it... Yeah, that's... Alright, that's, that's how it's done. This is hard, okay? It's a very difficult class. Now we have effect. We got the uh, visual effect and music effect. Two judges judging each of them. Now this is uh, kind of weird here. We got three different subcategories. We got com... Mu communication, right? Yeah, I guess communicating the show up to the audience. Yeah, let's go with that. Design and performance. English. So it's 100 points for each of these, and then the total is a maximum of 250. And for the life of me, I can't freaking figure out how the heck you get this number out of 250. Yeah, if we take the Buccaneers score here, it's not these three numbers combined and then, you know, divided equally out of 250. That doesn't work. I also thought it was going to be the communication score out of 100. And then these two get averaged out of some percentage. And that works for this score, but that does not work for the second place group. So I don't know how this works. Okay, it's, it's probably some kind of weird percentage for each of them that adds up to 250. I don't know, I spent too much time trying to figure this out, so I'm not going to anywhere. But if somebody knows that's watching this video how this works, please compose a comment and let me know how the heck you add this up. But however you get that number, uh, both of these are averaged together for the visual side and then also averaged on the music side. So then you add those two numbers together for a maximum score of 500, and then you divide that by 10 to get a maximum score of 50. I don't need to check that math, that's right. I know my decimal places. And then of course penalties, which nobody got a penalty. Good job, DC. Cores. So music effect 25 points, visual effect 25 points, music 30 points, visual 20 points, which is a music visual ratio of 55-45, and there are 14 judges in total. And I actually really, really like this scoring system a lot, okay? It has, you know, higher weight for music. It's not too much higher. I mean, obviously visual is very important as well. And there are two judges judging every single category, so you won't get tanked by one judge. Yeah, 14 judges is a crap ton, and I really appreciate that, DCA. You're doing great things. The only complaint I have is that this is really confusing how to add the effect score up, and I don't understand it at all. But aside from that, I think everything is very, very good in this. So, DCA, you will be getting S tier. Good job. Now moving on to BOA, Bands of America, the National Marching Band Circuits. At the time I'm recording this video, the results from finals, which happened recently, they're not posted yet, so we're going off of the second to last show, which was in... where was this? Utah. 
Utah. Okay, it looks like BOA doesn't put this in the placement order. It goes in performance order, but uh, it shouldn't matter for this video. So this scoring system is actually really, really simple to figure out. There are seven judges total. We got the music individual and music ensemble judge. We got visual individual and visual ensemble. And we got general effect music one and two and one general effect visual judge. Each of these categories has a maximum of 20 points. Both of the music scores are average. Both of the visual scores are averaged. But the general effect scores are not average. They are all added up into the total points. So there are 40 points for music effect, 20 for visual effect, 20 for music, and 20 for visual. Giving a music visual ratio of 60-40, and there are seven judges total. So the thing I really don't like about this scoring system is that the general effect is weighted way higher than anything else that's happening. 60 of the 100 points are for effect, which tells me that BOA, you know, puts more emphasis on how your overall show package is rather than on the nitpicking details of the individuals. Which I kind of hate that because I believe that the groups that should win should have the cleanest playing and marching. It should be down to the individual performers who gets the higher score, not which show is the best, because that basically means that the people that designed the show are winning. There are also not judges looking at specifically, like, percussion, brass, woodwinds, color guard. That's kind of common in most high school circuits, although they might give, like, specialty awards, like, have that be judged, but it's not part of the overall score, which I kind of hate that, too. I think that there should be specialty judges, and it should be at least a small percentage of what the overall score is. I want emphasis on the individual performers being scored and being judged on how well they play and march. Yeah, having a well-written show and making it entertaining for the audience, of course that's important, but I don't think it should be the most important thing. Bands of America, you are going to get C tier. Next we have WGI, Winter Guard International, which runs both a percussion circuit and a color guard circuit and also an indoor wind circuit. Although in this video we're just going to be looking at the percussion scores because I honestly don't know enough about color guard and indoor winds to make like a fair assessment to judge their scoring system. So I'm just gonna keep it to my area of expertise here. Okay, WGI percussion, we got uh, effect music and effect visual. There are two judges for each of these. They are looking at the overall effect yep and music effect and uh, of course the visual judges is overall but not music it's visual effect so in each sub caption you get a maximum score of 100 points and then those two scores are averaged together and then you multiply that by 0.3 to get a total of 30 points per judge and then you will average those two judges scores together to get the total out of 30 points and for visual effect it is the exact same thing except you multiply it by 0.2 to get a total of 20 points. Music, we have two judges in this category. They both judge the composition and the performance. I was like 99% sure that the performance was 60% and the composition was 40% and then you like add them together, but that doesn't work. Cause yeah, you would just take this number times 0.4, this number times 0.6 and add it, but that's not right, that's, that's wrong. So it's some other percentages, I, I don't know what it is, I couldn't figure it out. If any of you know what it is, please compose a comment and let me know. But well, however you get that, it's a total out of 30, and then you average the two judges' scores together to get a total of 30 points in the music category. In visual, there are two judges for this, also judging composition and performance, and these are not some weird percentage, it's just the two of these averaged together. So then you take that average score and multiply it by 0.2 to get a total of 20 maximum points, and then you average the two judges' points together to get a total score out of a maximum of 20 points. And did anyone get a penalty? No penalty. Good job. So music effect 30 points, visual effect 20 points, music 30, visual 20, creating a 60-40 ratio, music to visual, and there are 8 total judges. I honestly don't have any problems with this scoring system. I know at, like, local regional shows, they don't have two judges for each of these, it's just one, that's probably for, you know, money's sake. 
But in finals, they do have two judges per caption, so I think that makes it a whole lot more fair. And as weird as this is, I kind of like how the performance in music is a higher rating than the composition. That's like basically the opposite of BOA, you know, it's saying that, you know, the emphasis is on the performing members, not necessarily on how well the people designed the show. Right? The people marching the show matter more towards the score than the people who wrote the show. I think that's how it should be. WGI Percussion, you are getting S tier as well. So those are all my thoughts and opinions on how much I like the scoring system for all of the national and international competitive music circuits. If there is enough interest for it, I could make another video ranking some of the local marching band circuits. I know some of these band circuits have just wacky scoring systems, so that could be interesting. Compose a comment if you would like to see that in a video. Hopefully you found this video interesting and maybe you learned something as well. If you did, make sure that you click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. Thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. If you are able to, please consider going over there and making a donation. It helps the channel a lot. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt, such as this one. I will leave that link in the description. And have a good morning.